Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy. And I am asked over and over again, how do I price my work? And this is probably one of the top five questions that I get asked from my viewers. Today, we're going to do another Talking Head video that I think you're probably going to enjoy or at the very least benefit from if you're wanting to sell your products online at a premium price. In this video today, we'll be talking about how to price your products for sale in the marketplace, <laughs> regardless of where you sell them online. What is that bug is gonna get right in my face during this. <laughs> I'm not gonna retake this though. This is gonna be a one take. <laughs> Now, we're not going to talk about where to sell them in this video, although that might be a good topic for a future video, but rather how to sell them and how to sell them at a premium price with a good profit margin. And yes, I know there are dozens of videos on YouTube talking about how to price products, but this is a topic that is totally individual and unique to each maker. And I think all of the other creator, creators of videos have spent far too much time trying to calculate time and materials to determine a price point. I personally never do that. I try and make products that people want and that they'll treasure or they'll be proud to give to someone as a gift. And by concentrating on this thought process, the price of time and material really doesn't matter. And I believe the key is personalization. Always adding a personal touch to a product aimed directly at the buyer will increase the perceived value. I don't think there is any one video that really concentrates on what it takes to be able to sell the products you make on a laser and make the maximum amount of profit and folks tell me I saw your video on selling slate coasters three years ago where you were selling them for $80 for a set of eight but my market won't support that price well this is just not true and let's talk about why let's start with an extreme example let's say that you take a thousand grams or 2.2 pounds of iron bar. Its raw value is somewhere around 80 or $90. If you decide to make horseshoes, its value will increase to $250. If instead you decide to make sewing needles, the value would increase to about $70,000. If you decide to produce watch springs and gears, well then the value increases to about $6 million. And better yet, <laughs> if you decided to manufacture precision laser components like the ones used in lithography, it'd be worth about $15 million. So what's the point of all this? Well, the point is the value of a product is not just what it's made of or the time that it takes to make it, but rather one, what ways you can make the best and most valuable use of it. Two, what the market bears. And three, and most importantly, what the perceived value is from the buyer. And I've talked about this before. Perceived value is determined in three different ways. Number one, what the customer sees, the visual response. Number two, the information that you provide in the description or the intellectual response. And number three, the availability of a similar product with similar quality. So for example, let's say you're shopping on Amazon and you're shopping for a, a new widget. <laughs> and the first search that you do, you find a widget for $2. So you click on it. Now in that ad, there's one photograph and the description says widget two dollars <laughs> and then right below that you see related items other widgets so you click on one of those because you have very little information about the first widget that you found 
the next widget you come to is four dollars but this widget has five photographs and a video on how to use it and it also has a lengthy description telling you where it was made how it was made what materials were used to make it along with the warranty from the manufacturer which one are you more apt to purchase and I give you this example from my own experience because this actually happens to me on a regular basis on Amazon or where wherever I shop online where I've paid more money for a product because of a better description and better photographs and I did so because I had a better understanding of the quality the use the support for the product from the company that I was purchasing purchasing it from and felt more comfortable buying it from them and don't fall into that bottomless pit called Etsy where pricing and profit is always a race to the bottom because of perceived competition think of it this way would you rather sell a hundred widgets for two dollars each or 20 widgets for ten dollars each you'll make the same amount of money on both but with the right marketing and a quality product you can spend a fraction of the time making them and make the same amount of profit or even more the marketing of your product as well as the quality are equally important remember the first rule in marketing is you're selling the sizzle <laughs> not the steak but if your product doesn't live up to the hype you won't get the good reviews and you'll get returns from your customers so let's not forget about the most important aspect of selling your products and that is the quality if you don't produce a quality product using quality materials with a quality finish then you shouldn't expect to get a premium price for it so make sure when you're selling your reputation and your products online that you use quality material a quality design and a quality finish because these are the things that will get you a premium price far above what others are selling similar products for as well as really good reviews okay so let's now take a look at an example of how I make my ads and the images that I use so let's start here with the text file and the first thing I do is I create a text file and I give it a name so that I know what it is for future use this one the file is called social ad Jesus cross we're just using this as an example of the text that I would use the ad title is right here 100% locally made handcrafted laser cut custom Jesus crucifixion cross must see notice all of the keywords that are in here and this entire ad should be keywords so now here is the ad that I'm going to copy and paste wherever it is that I'm posting this handcrafted professional quality locally produced multi-layered real solid wood crucifixion cross now you have to get creative when it comes to writing the text for your ads and then I put in here USA sourced materials handcrafted made in New Orleans by me you do want to insert a little bit of comedy in here uh, or a little lightness I guess you'd call it so next I put sealed and protected with a glaze finish an alligator clip ready to hang on your wall warranted for life mine or yours with a smiley face <laughs> or a wink whatever that is if it fades or peels I will refinish it for free for as long as you own it and then again give your home or business a touch of faith with this wonderful precision laser engraved and cut black cherry on birch solid wood crucifixion cross made of natural solid wood you will get a high-end high-end handmade elegant cross that anyone would be proud to hang in their home or business again I'm, I'm hitting those keywords really hard because I'm going to be advertising this online 
So to continue on, memorable housewarming gift idea, a great practical and faithful gift for any housewarming party. A great housewarming, wedding, communion, confirmation, or holiday gift for anyone young or old. And here comes the personal part of it. I can add a personal message or event and date to the backside, making it a cherished family heirloom to pass down generationally. Eight inches tall, but also available in a 16 inch version for only $35 extra. The ultimate housewarming birthday or holiday gift for any faithful family. And then I go into what the package includes. One custom made eight inch crucifixion cross, other sizes available for additional charge, price $80 complete with personalization on the back. And finally, one more time, give the gift that keeps on giving for generations to come. This is a properly written, in my opinion anyway, a properly written and formatted ad with all of the keywords that are gonna get your ad found. Next, let's come over here into Google Chrome and let's fix some images. And it's gonna be whatever image I come across first, so it's not gonna necessarily be the cross. So we're just gonna type in here, uh, there's a, a website called Remove Background from Image for free. And it's remove B, remove.bg. So on this website, you can just click here and say upload an image. We'll just get the very first one that we see. This one right here and say open and you'll see it'll work its magic. And there we have our image with the background removed. We're just going to use this one for this demonstration. I'm going to just right click and copy it. And then in my editing software, I use Corel Zara or actually it's now made by or marketed by Magix software. Uh, it's a $29 program that's good for life. I'm just going to paste this in place. And there we have our image with no background. So now if we come back over to Chrome one more time and we come over here, I've gone ahead and searched for mountain background royalty free. And here's a nice one right here. I'll go ahead and right click on that, copy that image, come back to my software and right click and paste it. And now I have the image background for that product. So I'll put this one to the back like that and I will uh, make this larger so that it fits the frame. And I'll just put it something like that and maybe put a two, a two pixel border on it. And there we have one our very first image of this particular product a professional image and of course I would work on this image a little more by coming to the camera feature and uh, you know sharpening it and doing a few more things to it but um, I'd probably take a better image to begin with but getting quality images and having them on a nice background is what's really important and I would want to take a bunch of different pictures of this one of it's unfinished like you see here another one with a finish on it uh, one with a personalized message going around the outside and use all different backgrounds for all of the different images so really quickly let me show you what uh, I did for the crucifixion cross pictures and here you can see fresh off the laser with just it cut out with a nice background and this is a picture of it hanging up over a bed and another picture hanging over a bed and finally a picture of the cross in the clouds so these are the pictures that I've taken of this for the ad and if I were selling it I'm not actually selling this so <laughs> I'm not uh, I'm not uh, gonna use these pictures these are strictly for demonstration purposes here to show you what I would do if I were making an ad for this cross and now Finally, let's recap the entire video in just a few moments. So, number one, what the customer sees, it's important that you have really nice pictures. Spend some time learning some photo software. And it could even be free software, like GIMP, for instance. 
you can do everything I did in this video using most free software that you can find online. Number two, with the information you provide in the description, you should be selling the sizzle and not the steak. And throw in just a little bit of humor along the way uh, so that people have something light to read. And number three, of course, not forgetting about the most important aspect of the products, which is the quality material, the quality of the materials, the finish, and a premium price. So just remember, folks, the price that somebody will pay for your product will be what they perceive as the right price. And if you meet all of these criteria, you'll be able to set your own price and your products will sell. Now on this cross, if I were selling this uh, online, in any online marketplace, I would probably set the price somewhere between um, 60 and $80. And that's what I think this product is worth. And that is because I put a lot of time and energy into the design, the finish, and it's a memorable gift that can be passed down from generation to generation as a family heirloom. At least I think so anyway. So I hope that this video today has lived up to the thumbnail and gave you some information that you pretty much won't find anywhere else online. And that is how to price your products that you sell and make a good profit on them. So I hope you enjoyed this video today as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And as always, I wanna thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.